She kind of rubs me the wrong way, but then I can kind of see, I could see both sides. Mm -hmm. Um, so you, did you like, you know, after you talked to her and everything, you already kind of knew that she was going to just be fully transparent and yes. Yeah, so we did a series of casting because I wanted to bring a new couple with a different perspective. Mm Because one thing I don't want to do with this show is have the storyline still out or things become predictable. So I remember watching Tiffany's casting tape. And I I would never forget this. I was on a plane for four hours. And there was nothing to watch. (laughs) So I said, let me just work. So I was watching Tiffany's casting tape and I was texting my producer like, oh, this girl is, is, is something. Like she, she speaks her mind without knowing what she's saying is interesting. And, mm-hmm. and to me, that's the beauty of a reality star is when they have no filter. She had no filter. She admittedly was a fan of the show. She knew Melody. Huntsville is this big. So everyone knows everybody anyway. Mm. And she had an opinion. And one thing I know about um, working on shows is oftentimes, and this is this may be a surprise to your reality, oftentimes when you interview people to be on a show, they don't have an opinion. And that's not real life. Mm. Yeah. That's not interesting to watch. So because she had an opinion, and she wasn't this loud person with it or like, you know what I'm saying? Like she yeah. was very discreet. And you're like, is that shade? Like, <laughs> what is that? So I see why people have this love hate relationship with her because she's, she's hard to figure out, but mm-hmm. I'm hoping that in this new season, you'll get to see more than what you saw last season. Yeah. I feel like Tiffany, like, I think no matter where you are, I think everybody kind of knows a Tiffany. Like, it's just kind of like you, you know, you're either friends with her or she's that chick in the office where you're like, I don't, I'm, I'm good. But opposed to the extremes, you know what I'm saying? Like some people will see, you know, the yelling and all that. So that's, that's an extreme that might not be part of your life or it might be your auntie them. But Tiffany, I feel like Tiffany's everywhere. You can see the Tiffany everywhere. It's just like, and then you, who that cold, t- I was just kind of, oh, that's a whole nother. Well, I don't well, take up tell time. me which one. I mean, the one where the, her first meeting where she's talking about the sun. I was just kind of like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, those, that's that's the rules of the game. You don't talk about people's children. Like, that's the, that's one of the top 10. Like, I mean, let's, you know, it was. Oh, it I was, know now, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those things. <laughs> that that kind of threw me off. I was like, ooh, you didn't want to pull her to the side. You, and you weren't even sure, like. You know, I, I think that's the same thing with me, like just doing being, you know, part of the journalism industry for so long. Like, I want to know yeah. the facts first before I say anything or if, it, if it's if I'm not sure I attribute it. It's like this is what I heard. But, you know, and then if it's something I heard, I don't even bother because I don't want, you know, that's the reason I'm not on, you know, reality TV. So here we are. Um, same so here, girl. I think hmm, we're going to.